Okay guys, in this video, let us have a look at the REST operator in ES2015. Now consider this example. Let's say we need a function that is going to display a list of colors. So let's have a function display colors and this is going to take variable number of arguments. So if you pass red, it needs to display red. And let's copy paste. So red and if you pass red and blue it needs to display red and blue and red blue green it needs to display red blue and green so what we would do in ES5 or JavaScript we would have let display colors and this is going to be equal to a function and we would say for let i in arguments log arguments of i. Now let's have a look at the output. Save this. So we have red from our first function called over here, red, and then red, blue, so red, blue, and then we have red, blue, and green from our third function call. Now with this code, there are a few problems. Uh, the first thing is, Suppose someone is new to JavaScript, they would not quite understand right away, okay, we have a function that takes no parameters, yet we are passing certain variable number of arguments. How does that work? And also, we are making use of the arguments object. Now, where did that come from, right? And consider this scenario. Let's say we want to display a message before we display the list of colors. So let message is equal to, let's say, list of colors and over here let's pass message let me just copy paste this control C control V control V and over here just before we display our list of colors I want to log message so that we have first list of colors and then we have the actual list of colors so let me save this and see what our output is. Hmm. We have our list of colors, but then we have a duplicate list of colors. Now this is because this message is also part of this arguments object. So the first time message is going to be logged and then in this for loop, we get this message and then red. We get the message and then red blue. We get the message and then red blue green. So our message, and then message plus red. So our message, message plus red blue. Our message, and message red blue green. You get the idea. So this kind of breaks our code. Whenever we use the arguments object to iterate through our parameters or arguments, now that's not a good thing. So in ES2015, this is where our new REST parameter syntax comes into play. So the rest parameter represents an indefinite number of arguments as an array. So let's have a look at let's have a look at an example. Now over here, what we do is in our function call, we say message, and then we can have three dots, which is the syntax for the rest parameter followed by any uh, name of your choice. So dot 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 since we are using a variable list of colors I'm going to be using colors now I'm going to change arguments to colors and then console.log colors of i so now let me save this and refresh we still have list of colors but this time we just displayed only once per function call so over here, this is one function call when we do it with when we call display colors with red and then list of colors with red, blue and then list of colors with red, blue, green. So how this works is this colors is actually going to convert this list of arguments into an array and then we are going to iterate through that array in this for loop. So to show to you in fact that colors is actually an array. I'm going to log console.log colors. Let me save this. And there you go. Red is an array 
red and blue is an array, red, blue, green is an array. So by doing this, we can add any number of uh, parameters without affecting this part of our code. I can have a second parameter that says thank you and I can console.log thank you but this for loop remains unaffected. We are not going to be printing duplicate values. Now if you want to quickly have a look at uh, the arguments, so arguments.length, we save this, refresh it, so we have two, three and four. So this colors or this array is going to represent a single argument. So that's why it's going to message plus red, which is two arguments, message red, blue, three, and message red, blue, green, four. So I would say that pretty much covers the rest parameter syntax. The rest parameter is used to represent variable number of parameters or arguments that we can pass and use in our functions. This comes, in, this comes quite in handy. So in our next video, let's have a look at the spread operator in ES2015. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe.